You know, they're not so bad when they're not all screaming and trying to chew your ankles off. Oh no, what did I do? Hello everyone, this is Sorry and Target welcoming you back to episode 6 of our Primal Prey playthrough. You know, you know what, I think I'm just gonna call this whole series the Primal Play, because I am getting so tongue-tied trying to say that full thing every time. Although, now that I said it out loud, that sounds really dumb. Oh well. We're here with the final video of Primal Prey's Episode 1 missions, where we've been primarily hunting Gastonia, Styracosaurus, and Utah Raptors, as well as anything else that just happens to show up during a hunt. You know, I remember when I was working on getting three stars for twin raptors, I saw a Troodon take out a Styracosaurus, and it was great! They went to the movies and a fancy restaurant, and it seemed like a really great time. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that was that was really stupid, I, I couldn't resist. But I did see a Troodon kill a Styracosaurus, and it was pretty cool. I mean, of course, it didn't eat it, because I was there, and I always take precedence over 6,000 pounds of freshly killed meat for some reason. But anyway, like I said, these are the final videos for Primal Prey's Episode 1 missions. Next, we'll be moving on to Episode 2, Hunting Iguanodon and Troodon. But first, we've got some trophy hunts to complete, where instead of completing missions for other people, we get to take some trophies back for ourselves. And, as always, we'll be aiming for three stars, but before we jump into our trophy hunts, let's check out Primal Prey's trophy room. Wait, are we actually going back in time to see our trophy room? That doesn't make any sense. We collect our dinosaurs with time portals. I'm pretty sure our trophy room is not set up in the Cretaceous period. I never noticed that before. Whoa. That was sudden. And quiet. Wow, this place needs some ambience. Well, here we are in the Primal Prey Trophy Room. As you can see, each dinosaur has its own little exhibit set up with a simulated environment. This is the Gastonia exhibit and... Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, look at that! It's got a simulated main menu. Hmm, that's pretty funny. I feel like I've seen that image they're using there before. So, after we've looked at our dinosaurs, we can check out the kiosk for more information. So you can see here the male and female weight criteria. It'll show what you have and what you need for a star, the egg type, footprint for identification, and some information about the dinosaur, which is really cool. Not enough dinosaur games include actual information about their creatures. And that's pretty much the gist of the trophy room. Each dinosaur has its own little exhibit with a male and female set up in each. So there are things that I like about this trophy room and things that I don't. What I like, it provides more information with each trophy than, say, carnivores. Carnivores give you more in-game or hunt-related information. Primal Prey gives you more factual information, plus some in-game info. I really like the environment exhibits set up for the trophies. That's a really cool touch. And I think it would be cool to see in Carnivores someday. Although, those new trophy rooms and the mobile ports are going to be really hard to beat. Now, what I don't like. It's way too quiet. There's at least wind blowing in the one in Carnivores. This one is far too still. I'm also not really a fan of how there's only two spots for each animal species, and you can't choose what environment they go in. I'm also pretty sure that the sizes of the trophy models don't change, no matter how big your dinosaur is. I would have liked to see, like, if you killed a little Triceratops, then you get a little mount, but if you killed a bigger one, then the trophy model is, like, huge. But enough about the trophy room itself, let's go bag some trophies. Alright, we've checked out where our trophies are going, now let's go get some for real. Uh, oh, no, we're not in episode 2 yet. Let's see, there we go. The trophy hunts. Uh, personal portal time for Gastonia. Start time noon. Perfect. Uh, let's see. We'll take the Sonic Blaster. Dual purpose weapons are always nice to have. And as far as equipment goes, I don't think we need the call box, but we'll take it just in case. We know where these Gastonia live, so we'll be fine. Alright, our first trophy hunt. I hope you guys are excited. I sure am. I'm ready to start filling up that trophy room. Ooh, we've got some nice atmosphere for our first trophy hunt. Coolio Beanzio. We'll head west from the time portal in established Gastonia tradition and see what we can find. All right, I've got the Carnivore's Wiki pulled up because I did most of the Primal Prey pages on that myself and put the dinosaur size requirements on there. 
And we need 4,300 pounds on either Gastonia for a star. All right. <laughs> Man, that's a big little dinosaur. And there they go, hidden in the noontime mist. Now, we don't have our binoculars, but that's fine. We can just knock out dinosaurs until we find the one with the right size, because the game tells you how big each one is once you down it. So unless you're on a time crunch and a size crunch, you really don't need the binoculars. Okay, female Gastonia. This one looks bigger, so we'll go for you. I'm so sorry my prehistoric pretties, but I need to fill the trophy room. Oh yeah, she's running out of steam, and there we go! Alright, let's see. 4,362 pounds. Perfect. We'll bring you back to the future with us. I am really glad Sunstorm at least went for the time travel aspect when bringing dinosaurs and man together instead of just another alien planet. I'm looking at you, the Hunter Primal. <laughs> but seriously, it is really cool. Primal Prey, along with carnivores, covers pretty much two of the big three ways people used to bring dinosaurs and man together. The other, of course, being genetic recreation. Oh, we are not going that way. You never really can get a straight shot back to the time portal. There's always something in the way. Be it a swamp, or a lake, or a pack of unrelenting little monsters whose names start with a T and end with a Roadon. Alright, here we go! Our first trophy hunt complete. That was fun. And I'd say it went off without a hitch. Alright, our first trophy hunt done, and... Ugh, Utah Raptor? <laughs> no thanks. We'll stick with the Gastonia. Ah, no, not Styracosaurus. There we go, Gastonia. Alright, let's jump back in. I think we'll stick with the same weapon and equipment combo, just because it's been... Hmm. Actually, I'm debating. We did get the easy one out of the way. The female dinosaurs are way bigger than the males, so we could eliminate a lot of trial and error by getting these things. Eh, nah, we don't need it. But I would think we're going to leave the call box behind because we definitely don't. Oh, is that the Sonic Blaster? Here you go, dude. You look weird enough as it is. Alright, let's go again. Okay, let's hope they're right in their usual spawn point. You know, that's really the problem with this map. It's too small to spawn in multiple herds of each dinosaur because it'd be way too cluttered. But it's just big enough that travel takes way too long. It is not a happy medium. It's really the worst of both worlds. And nothing. Great. Well, hopefully... Aha! Targets sighted. Saurian targets sighted, as someone pointed out earlier in the comments. That really made me laugh. Alright, I see a couple of decent-sized males. And I pick you! There we go. Oh, he knows I'm slow in water. Whoa, so many males! Where were you guys in the last hunt? Come on, dude, don't make this... Ah, there we go. Watch it, guys. You're next if he's not big enough. Ah, dang it. So close. Alright, who's next? You look pretty plump. Let's see. Carefully. There we go. You are going to get shot doing that, dude. I'd prefer to save you for later. Alright, let's see. Yes! Perfect! Oh, exit- Whoa! <laughs> that dragonfly was a little too close for comfort. Oh, that's funny. Sorry, mate, he'll bounce back. Assuming the predators don't get to you first, I was kind of surprised to see you in one piece. And now we can start our long trek back to the time portal. That's Gastonia completely done. We got a male and we got a female and a star for each one. 
That wasn't too terrible. I mean, they are the easiest dinosaurs to hunt in this game. Just wait until the T-Rex hunts. <laughs> oh boy. And all right, we got a star down there in the bottom left. See, that means we got a star for both the female and the male Gastonia in our trophy hunts. That's really cool. So now we can go check them out in the trophy room. All right, and we are heading back in time to our trophy room again for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. This is, this is way too quiet. There needs to be something in here. Yeah, but enough about that. Here we go, guys. Here are our Gastonia. Ah, oh, it looks so good. This is a female, as you can tell. She has shorter spikes on her carapace and is more dull in coloration, more like a beige or light grayish tan color. And then over here, we have the male sporting some really tall spikes over the shoulders and some really cool yellow stripes along his hide. Let's see if we can get a better angle of them. Ah, there we go. Yeah, his colors look really well together. You know, I'm not a big fan of their environment in the exhibit. It's just like, yeah, it's just a rock and some water. That's, that's not really cool. But enough about that, we'll check out their information on the kiosk. So yeah, as you can see, we've got a star for each one. 4,398 pounds for the male and 4,362 pounds for the female. Both taken down with the Sonic Gun, I guess is the code name for the Sonic Blaster. Uh, here's a picture of their eggs. I don't think you can collect Gastonia eggs in-game. Here's our footprints for identification. And here is some good information about it. Let's see what it says. A medium-sized cross between a notosaur and an ankylosaur discovered in Utah, USA in 1998 along the same fossil sediment with Utah Raptor. Gastonia was a heavily armored herbivore with a thickened plate over its hips, spines running the side of its body, and long spikes over its shoulders. So that's a lot of really cool information. I wish more dinosaur games included info like this. Um, it would be cool if they included like some phonetics or some of the name's origin. That would have been a more complete touch, I feel, but either way, this is still really cool. Let's check out the models again. Oh, it looks so good. Let's see if we can get them both in one frame. That'd be a... Eh, that's, that's an okay shot, I guess. Todd Marshall did a really good job in designing these dinosaurs. I love them. All right, let's head back and take down our next set, Styracosaurus. Well, that was a fun trip to our trophy room. Oh, oh nope, we are not in episode two yet. Let's see, here we go, trophy hunts. Uh, nope, we are done with Gastonia. Uh, Styracosaurus, there we go. I think we'll rock the same weapon and equipment combo. Don't need the call box, because Styracosaurus are everywhere. All right, we've got our Gastonia trophy hunts out of the way, and now we're moving on to Styracosaurus. Ooh, we've got some good atmosphere for our first Styracosaurus hunt. You know, I'm really gonna miss these noontime hunts because you can just, you can see everything. It's so much nicer than at like 6 a.m. or at midnight. Oh, I am dreading those midnight hunts. Especially with what we will be hunting at midnight. It's gonna be Troodon. Heads up, spoiler alert, it's gonna suck. You know, I always just take this route because I'm so familiar with it. It's always the starting route I took playing Primal Prey. I guess we could take some other ones, but oh, okay. I see our targets up ahead. But yeah, I mean, oh, okay. I guess they're on the run. Yeah, we could take some different routes, but I mean, this is just one I'm familiar with, so I always take it. Let's see if we can get a charge. Perfect. Styracosaurus are slow and aggressive, and that makes taking them down so much easier. Let's see, come on. Oh, oh shoot! Oh my, oh no! Oh, this is not a good time. We're going to defend our kill from the real predators. Oh, yikes, okay. I think there's only two. If there's only two, this is going to be pretty easy. Oh. Come on, I am not doing well at all. Okay, come on, there we go, good hit, good hit. Let's see, come on, reload, 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 there we go. Alright, this is definitely, ooh, okay, good hit, oh, she's down, perfect, perfect. And so is he, excellent. And that, oh, 
Are you? Okay, yeah, you are definitely after me. Listen, I just took your friend down and two Utah Raptors. I don't think you want to mess with me. Let's see what we have here. Uh, ah, no, no, that's not enough. For Styracosaurus, we need 5,003. Oh, wow, you are down already. Let's see. Oh, you're even smaller. Uh, oh, okay. There's some more Styracosaurus over there. For Styracosaurus, we need 5,300 pounds for a male and 6,300 pounds for a female. And let's go ahead and get you to charge. Oh, come on. Are you trying to... I'm over here. <laughs> that was a definite miss on your part. Oh, there's one over there. Let's see, you're running out of steam, I can tell. There we go. Alright. How big are you? Perfect. 70 pounds over. Alright, that was an eventful Styracosaurus hunt. Ooh, check out that slaughter fest. <laughs> I do like how Primal Prey shows you where your downed dinosaurs are on the map. That's really helpful if one goes down later due to, like, tranquilizer darts or the sonic gun blast. Make sure we're not being followed. You know, the Styracosaurus AI, and the AI in this game in general, is just really weird. Sometimes you can walk right past them like I just did, and they won't even bother giving you the time of day, but sometimes... You could be even farther away than that, and they'll be like, Oh, intruder, we must hunt him down! At a very moderate speed. And depending on the dinosaur. Styracosaurs are slow. A Utah Raptor would not be. Well, guys, that was, I thought at least, an extremely fun hunt. Two Utah Raptors, three Styracosaurs, and one of them was exactly what we needed. Alright, perfect. We got our half star for getting a star on the female. And we're back on Styracosaurs. Perfect. Let's head back and grab our mail. Alright, we've bagged our female Styracosaurus, and let's go get a mail. Oh, and here we go. This is going to be a quick one, I hope, as long as we get the right size. I guess this is the game's apology for the last hunt. You overdid yourself on that last one. Here, have a Styracosaurus on me. You look like a good specimen. And, oh, where are you going? I was expecting the famous Styracosaurus charge. Wow, you are not going to make it much longer. Come on. There we go. Alright, and let's check your size. Excellent! Oh, yes, you're a big one, aren't you? Yeah, this is definitely the game saying, So yeah, sorry about that last hunt. You can have a much easier hunt this time. And to that I say, thank you, Primal Prey. It is greatly appreciated, because I know what's coming up next. All right, awesome! Two stars complete! Let's go check out our Styracosaurus. Huh, yeah, it says opening time portal. Maybe we can't take our dinosaurs back, like they're anchored in the past somehow, and so we have to set up a trophy room in the past. This doesn't make any sense, but... What... Whoa! Did you guys see that? Open the top right? It's like we were below the dinosaurs, or... Oh, oh no, the shaders are on. Super dark! Oh, we're not going to be able to see anything like this. Uh, nope, okay, I am stuck. Oof. I hope we're able to see our Styracosaurs. I mean, that would be really unfortunate if they were too dark to see. Ah, oh, yeah. It looks like they are really dark. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Let me see if I can get them both in a pretty good shot. Let's see. And that doesn't look too great. You know, I wonder if we can get around the other side for a better view. Maybe the lighting is... oh. Hmm. I, I guess we're not getting it back there. Ah, that stinks. That's ah, still pretty cool, though. Looks really intimidating in the dark. With intense shadows. Alright, let's come back around here and see if we can get a better view of them. As you can see, the female looks a little smaller despite her clear weight advantage. She's got a smaller frill and less decorated patterns. The male, on the other hand, has a ton of stripes and a brightly decorated frill. One of the coolest Styracosaurus frills I've ever seen. Yeah, check it out. It's got the cool patterns on it, the intense horns. Ah, oh, this looks so good. So let's check out our information on these beautiful dinosaurs. So we've got 5,400 pounds on the male, which is just amazing, and 6,370 pounds on the female, which 
just barely scrapes by. So let's see what they have to say about it. One of the most spectacular looking of all the horned dinosaurs, bearing a long, sharp snout horn and a smaller horn above each eye, and an extraordinarily ornate and convoluted neck frill. Across the top of its elaborate frill were six main spikes pointing up and back. The frill spikes most likely would have intimidated all but the most ambitious predators. So you can see the eggs and the footprints for identification, and that's pretty much the Styracosaurs. They look so good. I just wish we could see them better. It's really unfortunate about how dark it is. And then next we'll move on to the Utah Raptors. All right, we got a good look at our Styracosaurs. And, uh, Primal Prey, we're not in episode two yet. Stop jumping ahead. Uh, no Styracosaurs. No Styracosaurs. No Styracosaurs. Oh my goodness, we're done with Styracosaurs. Not Gastonia either. Oh my goodness, please give me a Utah. There we go, Utah Raptor. All right, let's go for our last set of trophy hunts. We'll take the call box just in case they decide not to show up, and you know what? We'll leave the Sonic Blaster at home, because I know I can do this with the Trank Pistol by itself. All right, so in theory, this hunt should not be too difficult, because I've already taken down tons of Utah Raptors with the Trank Pistol on my own. You know, I don't actually check the sizes of those Utah Raptors, so I don't even know if I've been taking down the ones that are the right size that we need. I brought the call box just in case, because if they don't show up, we might need to set it out and start calling them again. Of course, that said, they usually pop up over here when I'm not hunting them, so we maybe should have gone the other direction, back into Utah Raptor County. Hopefully they'll show up and attack me, though. I'll be sure to walk around and be as loud as possible. That seems to attract them better than the call box ever does. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, yep, here we go. We got the pack all together. Um, excuse me. What are you... Oh, jeez. Don't worry, dude. I'm just trying to figure this out. They are so bizarre. I, I don't understand the AI in this game. Hello? I'm just going to trank you right here, lady. Perfect. Oh, okay. Yep, you are not happy about that. Well, come on, bro. Fight me. I've got a trank pistol. <laughs> this is going to be way too easy. I'm so glad I was able to take down so many Utah Raptors and other hunts. It's been excellent practice for this. Yeah, look at him. He's all drugged up. You could hit the broad side of a barn if you wanted to. Here he goes, making his rounds. That was a crap shot. Perfect! See, this is simple. Alright, let's see. 579, 562. Hmm. We have options here. I think I'm going to go with you. Because for a male Utah Raptor, or Utah Raptor in general especially, you are enormous, dude. So a star for a Utah Raptor is 560 pounds, according to me on the Carnivore's Wiki. So she barely hit it, but he was, whew, he was gigantic. So we're definitely taking him back. What's that? Oh no, I saw that. I saw that little devil. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh no, not that horrible sound. Oh, the awful, it's so awful. Come on, come on, serpentine, serpentine. We gotta zigzag our way back. Oh, they're right behind me. Come on, come on, come on. We're right there, we're right there. Oh! <laughs> Take that! Oh! I beat you, you little freak, weasel, chicken, punk. Oh! I am destroying you with my mouse cursor right now. Oh, I'm gonna saw your tail off right now. Mm. Hey, like that. I'm gonna saw your legs off, too. And your head. There'll be nothing of you left. Oh! I hate you, little freaks. Ugh, that felt good. Freaking hate Troodon. But, we got our half star for the Utah Raptor, so that is definitely a plus. Oh boy. Alright, let's jump back in, and this time we're after a female. Trank pistol only. Alright, that was a very successful Utah Raptor hunt, with a close call there at the end. Goodness. Freaking Troodon. Freaking, freaking Troodon. I- <laughs> we don't even have to hunt them yet. And they're everywhere. And what's unfortunate is, I'm not getting in any good practice like I was with the Utah Raptors. 
Utah Raptors are manageable. I mean, I guess that's why they're on the Episode 1 string of Primal Prey missions, because they're, funnily enough, the third least danger, or I guess the third most dangerous carnivore to hunt in this game. Second being the Troodon, and number one being the T-Rex, of course. But I'm not getting any good practice in killing Troodon, I'm just running from them, because I'm terrified of them. I have to hunt them at night next. Oh, just kill me now. I really wish you could pick what time of day you wanted to hunt. I could I could hunt Troodon like this. This is fine. I can see, I mean, you know, far for Primal Prey standards, but at midnight, gosh, it's going to be awful. And I'm not seeing any Utah Raptors. Let's head back into where they might go. Oh, okay. Here we are. Why are they so silent? It's like they're silent until they... Oh, okay. We've got a full pack, maybe? I can't... It's, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, this is not off to a good start. Okay. There's, there's one male. Uh, let's see. One female, two female. Yep, we got a full pack. And they are not lining up like I wanted them to. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. There's another one. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to get... The, oh! I haven't gotten a single dart in. This is gonna be awful. Oh, we are so dead. This is why I didn't bring the Sonic Blaster. Oh! No, 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 no. Okay, oh, oh, no. oh. This is not going well at all. No! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. If we can get them all lined up, better. Better. There we go. Good hit, good hit, good hit. Okay. Oh, oh. Our health is really bad, and I have one Trank Dart and one Utah Raptor. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Oh, reload, 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 reload. Oh my gosh. This hunt is not going well at all. Ugh. Okay, that was close. Oh, that was closer. Ooh. Ooh, she waited a while to jump. Okay. Ah, crap. Line him up. There we go. Good hit, good hit. Yeah, she is getting dropped up. Oh, good. One down. Is, is the male stopped? Ooh, there you are. I, the male is stopped. Why? Why did he stop killing me? I'm over here getting your other girlfriend, dude. Look at that. This is wow. As soon as one stops, oh, perfect. Ah, here you come. I knew you couldn't take that joke. The Styragosaurus joins in. I swear. There we go. Good hit. Okay, if we actually do this, with, with how many darts I had in them, and the health I had... Oh, look, eat it up! Eat it up! That's right! We eat those Trank darts for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, 590 pounds. Perfection. Okay, now we just have to make it back to the time portal. <laughs> I would have checked the other raptor, but given our health and the fact that she met our size requirements, oh, that's wrong way. The fact that she met our size requirements, I, I don't see any reason to go check the other one. That was perfect. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we survived that hunt. That was that was incredible. <laughs> How many YouTubers can do that, huh? I'd like to see Best in Slaughter the Gaming Beaver take those Utah Raptors down with that much health left. <laughs> you know, they probably could in all honesty, but I'm pretty proud with that. That was, that was fun. Alright, and that is a perfect three stars on our trophy hunts for Gastonia, Styracosaurus, and Utah Raptor. Now let's go check them out. Okay, this time guys, check the top right corner when you jump in the trophy room. It'll be very quick, it should look- Yeah, look, there, did you see it? It's like we're underneath the dinosaurs for some reason. That's just, I guess that's our player spawning in. Um, I'm not sure where to go for the Utah Raptors. I think they're on the other side of the T-Rex enclosure. Oh, there they are. Oh, that looks so cool. It's just a shame it's so dark. It's so hard to see them. Oh, that looks awesome. Let's see. That's not a very good angle for the female. Let's see if we can get a better one. Maybe if I crouch? Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. So you can see the female Utah Raptor is brown with cream. She has much shorter plumage on both the head and her arms, but still very cool. It's cool how Primal Prey decides to differentiate its dinosaurs. 
It's just a shame you can't see them very well. It's so dark. And then the male. Oh, the male. The male Utah Raptor is probably my favorite incarnation of Utah Raptor ever. Navy blue with white stripes and little hints of red in there. Some brilliant plumage on the back of the head and the arms. Oh, it looks so good. So good. I love this Utah Raptor so much. Oh, just soaking it in, man. This looks awesome. Let's see if we can get them both in one shot. Oh, there's a lot of foliage here. I guess that is a good thing about the Gastonian Styracosaurus. There's no plants to get in the way, but let's check out the information. All right. Oh, there's no egg. Hmm, interesting. I wonder why they didn't include an egg for the Utah Raptor. Trank pistol? Are you kidding? Is that how you spell trank? I don't think so. Oh, well, let's see what it says. One of the largest of the dromaeosaurs, a group of raptors distinguished by a vicious sickle claw on each foot that measured over 10 inches in length, a very successful carnivore that probably hunted in packs. We now believe that it is possible that most dromaeosaurs might have been decorated with some type of feathery, scale-like plumage. <laughs> Man, how far we've come since 2001. That's still really cool, though. I love this information. Oh, that Utah Raptor looks so good. If only it didn't sound like some generic monster, you know, like the Cityscape Giganotosaurus or the Carnivores HD Ankylosaurus. But still, design-wise, excellent. 10 out of 10, freaking love it. Oh, looks so good. Well, guys, I guess that wraps up our Trophy Hunt episode for Primal Prey, the first of at least three more to come. This has been episode one's string of trophy hunts where we've been hunting down, as you saw, Gastonia, Styracosaurus, and Utah Raptor. Our next trophy hunts will be taking down Iguanodon and Troodon for episode two. Episode three is Triceratops and Quetzalcoatlus, I think. And then the last one will be T-Rex and Lambiosaurus. So there you go, guys. I hope you've been enjoying this series. I've had a ton of fun playing through Primal Prey when it works, you know, that's always the kicker. Be sure to let me know what you guys think of these Primal Prey dinosaurs. Which one is your favorite? And if you're new to this Primal Prey game, what do you think about it so far? Do you think it looks good? Looks terrible? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks as always for watching, guys. You guys are truly the best. And I will see you guys next time.